Jesus take the wheel. I'm sure you've seen the headlines and debates about self-driving cars. Well, tech companies are spending billions and experimenting with systems that let cars drive themselves without any human intervention. Here are some of the coolest self-driving cars. Let's check out the self-driving car that stands out among the pack, the Symbios. There are more and more autonomous cars hitting the market over the years, and many have interiors that resemble a living room in a typical home. Usually you find first-class flying type chairs that face each other and plenty of screens for entertaining passengers. However, Renault has taken autonomy to the next level with Symbios, a self-driving concept that integrates with the home. Symbios is both a self-driving car and an additional room in your house. With dimensions of 15.4 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, and 4.4 feet high, the Symbios is neither too big nor too small. The car's large dimensions allow for a comfortable interior decorated with wood, marble, felt, and porcelain. In addition, a glass roof makes the cabin even more spacious. The cost of the Symbios is unknown at the moment, and the fact that the company hasn't put a price tag on it means that this car might be just that special. The demo car, a version of the Symbios, hints at what the future cars might look like in 2023. The Renault logo in the center of the steering wheel allows drivers to switch between autonomous and manual modes. When traveling in autonomous mode, the steering wheel and dashboard move back to make space in the cabin. There are three ways to arrange the interior. The French Kiss layout retracts the steering wheel and dashboard to provide more foot room, while another design allows the driver to move closer to the front passenger. The relaxed position allows drivers to recline in zero gravity position. A driver can select from a comfort or sport setting when the car is in manual mode. One version of the Symbios looks ahead to 2030, when interiors will become more sophisticated. As well as a spacious cabin, the vehicle has an OLED display in front of the driver, seats that pivot 180 degrees, a steel frame table with marble top, and foldable armrests. In the seat belts, there are small touchscreens for controlling climate and infotainment functions. In level 4 autonomy, both models can handle virtually all driving tasks, including changing lanes, navigating corners, and navigating through traffic jams. While the car is moving, passengers can read, watch a movie, or work. If the car encounters a situation it cannot handle, it will move to a safe spot on the side of the road. With the help of two electric motors, one driving each rear wheel, the Symbios demo car produces 671 horsepower and 487 pounds of torque. The demo model should reach 62 miles per hour in less than 6 seconds, and its range is estimated at 310 miles. The Symbios concept for 2030 should surpass these numbers. Apparently, the Symbios should be parked inside your home when not in use. This is your future home, according to Renault. The home and car are designed to make drivers feel comfortable wherever they are, from the exterior to the interior. Once the car is parked at home, an elevator takes it to the second floor, or rooftop, where it can be stored. Essentially, the car becomes an additional living space. Both the home and car share power through a smart grid. Drivers can program their cars to recharge using the energy in their homes. A few minutes before a scheduled trip, the home and car coordinate to move the car to the ground floor. This is something right out of an Iron Man flick. Normally here at The Richest, we're always talking about Benzes and Bentleys. But check out this Honda. Honda has launched one of the world's most advanced self-driving cars. The Honda Legend, with level 3 autonomous driving, releasing an initial batch of only 100 models in Japan. The partially self-driving sedan is priced at 11 million yen, or $102,000. Under certain conditions, the legend is capable of adaptive lane keeping, as well as passing and changing lanes. Honda says it's sensing elite technology means the driver of the limited edition sedan won't have to pay attention under some conditions. Honda also touts extensive safety testing, as well as a function that stops the car in case the driver doesn't respond to handover warnings. A vehicle's autonomy is rated from 0 to 5, with 5 being the most autonomous. The Legend is rated level 3. 
Although several automakers have already developed vehicles that are capable of level 3 autonomy, only a few countries have legal frameworks permitting their sale and use. In addition, Legend is more autonomous than Tesla. A limited rollout would help determine whether there is sufficient demand for autonomous vehicles. Last November, Honda won approval for sales in Japan. Self-driving vehicles have already been approved by the government, believing they will be imperative in a country with a rapid aging population in need of safe transportation solutions. The auto industry and tech industry are vying for the lead in self-driving technology, with Tesla among the contenders. The industry is still a long way from a level 4 system in which a car no longer needs a driver, but simply passengers. In theory, level 5 vehicles would have no steering wheel or other driver controls and would be able to deal with all types of terrain and weather without driver assistance. Honda's Legend will only be available for leaf sales in its limited release. Currently, the Japanese automaker has no plans to bring the legend with this system to the US, and it surely doesn't help that Honda discontinued its American counterpart, the Acura RLX, last year. The German automaker Audi is adding a lounge on wheels to its recent lineup of electric concept vehicles that demonstrate its vision for transportation in the future. Designed for travelers in densely populated areas, such as China, the Urban Sphere concept serves as a third living space and mobile office. It is, of course, all electric and oozes with luxury. The price is unknown for now, but surely it'll be over the $100,000 mark. The vehicle is designed to drive itself in most situations, just like Audi's previous Sphere concepts that the company started unveiling last year. As a taller vehicle than the other concepts, it blurs the line between a large crossover and minivan, or multi-purpose vehicle, which creates more space and is popular in China. Audi Urban Sphere was designed and developed for use in traffic-congested Chinese megacities, although the concept can be also applied to any other metropolitan center in the world. This concept car provides the largest interior space of any Audi to date in urban areas, where personal space is particularly scarce. Audi's Urban Sphere interior follows trends from its other concepts. It has a modern design with wood, as well as technologically advanced features like a stowaway steering wheel and a large video display across the front instrument panel. Audi refers to the interior space of their vehicles as the sphere. In other words, if luxury is defined by space and light, then the urban sphere could easily be considered one of the world's most luxurious spaces, auto or otherwise. Firstly, by eliminating the B-pillar, this concept's door can be counter-hinged at the front and the back, creating a wide-open entryway. The seats swivel outward, and a light signature welcomes passengers. Inside, they'll find four seats in two rows, with the rear seats having particularly generous dimensions and lots of adjustment options. In a neat twist on the traditional automotive experience, there are multiple modes for passenger comfort, rather than multiple driving modes. In the relax and entertain modes, the back seat can be tilted up to 60 degrees while the leg rests extend simultaneously. Armrests are integrated into the sides of these seats, and the thrones can be swiveled towards each other for talking to your spouse or plotting what's for dinner. Its drive system is said to be based on the premium platform electric, which was designed to take advantage of all the benefits of battery electric drive systems. A 120 kilowatt flat battery pack lives under the floor and between the wheels, while its two electric motors can deliver nearly 400 horsepower and 510 pounds of torque. The computer distributes power based on the amount of power required in order to strike a balance between power and efficiency. Audi estimates that such a system would provide a total all-electric driving range of up to 750 kilometers. In the urban jungle, air suspension would keep things comfortable and rear-wheel steering would give you good maneuverability. Moving on now, how could we not mention the Tesla Model S? Although Tesla calls the system full self-driving, it is not, in a literal sense, fully self-driving. The system is instead a level 2 autonomous system, which requires a driver to pay considerable attention to the road ahead and keep at least one hand on the wheel at all times. By industry standards and regulatory definitions, full self-driving is not fully autonomous or hands-free. Although Tesla maintains that its full self-driving technology will become more capable over time, it is currently laying the foundation for a fully autonomous driving experience in the future. Regardless of all that, the price with autonomous driving 
upcoming features starts at around $70,000. We'll give the Model S a pass as there are so many celebrities that drive them. Jennifer Gardner, who was married to Ben Affleck at one point, drives a Tesla Model S. It's refreshing to see Jennifer Gardner's Instagram being so wholesome. Clearly you can see that she is just like the rest of us, and a mom. She just has a little more money than most. She also drives this cool Model S. Joe Rogan, the fight commentator, stand-up comedian, and very successful podcaster, was not initially a fan of Tesla or electric cars and was pretty vocal about it. However, that all changed once Elon Musk agreed to be a guest on his show and Joe bought a Model S. And now he's also admitted he wants a Cybertruck. Cameron Diaz is well known for her comedic chops in Something About Mary, The Sweetest Thing, or Bad Teacher. In recent years, she has taken a back seat and kept her life somewhat private, or at least as private as a celebrity can get. She had her first child in January of 2020, so who wouldn't want some privacy? And of course, her Model S comes equipped with a baby seat. Tesla is the car company that brought self-driving technology to the forefront. This electric sedan is hands down one of the best self-driving cars. Tesla Model S is an excellent choice among luxury hybrid and electric cars. Whether you view it as a performance car or a luxury sedan or an electric vehicle, this vehicle has near instantaneous acceleration and superb handling, as well as an excellent driving range up to 400 miles. Tesla's Model S comes with its autopilot self-driving aid, though you can upgrade to the full self-driving capability package for an additional $8,000. Among the features of the full self-driving capability is lane change, automatic parking assistance, and a feature to summon the Model S from a parking spot. On to another self-driving beast, BMW's 2022 iX is BMW's newest all-electric sports activity vehicle. Starting at just over $83,000, it offers a 324-mile range. The DC fast charging can add up to 90 miles of range for a rapid 10-minute charge. With 516 horsepower, the midsize automobile can reach 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Self-driving features are essential for any electric vehicle, and the iX does not disappoint. With 12 ultrasonic sensors, 5 radar sensors, and 5 cameras, the iX can navigate country roads and center itself in lanes on the highways. This system is known as the Driver Assist Professional. On occasion, the steering wheel will glow yellow, telling you to place your hands back on the wheel. The iX will then drive itself, allowing you to relax behind the wheel. The iX also has other driver assistance safety features, such as automatic braking if something unexpected crosses its path. With adaptive cruise control and distance control, the vehicle automatically accelerates, brakes, and changes the following distance based on the road conditions. It can also change lanes automatically. Ford's newest electric SUV, the Mustang Mach-E, is incredibly impressive, from its stylish exterior to its self-driving capabilities. The GT Performance Edition starts at $43,895 and hits 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Blue Cruise, Ford's hands-free driving technology, is included in the Comfort and Technology Package. Ford calls its comprehensive package of driver assistance technology Ford Copilot 360. In addition to emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane centering, it can also help steer you away from danger with evasive steering assist. Blue Cruise lets you drive hands-free on highways, and Mach-E's camera above the steering wheel keeps your eyes on the road. Blue Cruise is disabled until your eyes return to the road. Mustang Mach-E can also read speed limit signs and adjust your speed accordingly. Due to high demand and ship shortages, Ford Mustang Mach-E inventory is extremely limited at the time. For now, higher trims such as the Premium Edition and California Route 1 Edition can even be ordered online. Moving on, the Genesis GV80 is available now and starts at $48,900, but only goes up from there. Genesis Hyundai's luxury brand is not holding back with its self-driving technology. With HDA2 or Highway Driver Assist 2, the Genesis GV80 combines adaptive cruise control and lane centering to make highway driving as easy as possible. 
Even if you let go of the steering wheel at any time, the vehicle will warn you to put your hands back on it, or it will deactivate. Genesis stresses that drivers should keep their hands on the wheel at all times, even in its promotional video on HDA2. Genesis wants to maintain a luxury experience while making driving as effortless as possible for its customers, but does not describe its system as self-driving. GV80s can also change lanes and park themselves. When driving under 12 miles per hour, self-parking assist scans for open parking spots. After selecting the spot you want on the infotainment screen, the GV80 will back into it for you, straightening out the wheel all by itself. This is a feature you gotta think George Costanza would love. With regard to self-driving features, Mercedes has always been Tesla's biggest rival. Mercedes S-Class comes with a variety of driver assistance features that are ideal for those who want to relax while driving. The most impressive of these features is Distronic. Using this feature, a vehicle can reduce its speed depending on the road conditions ahead, whether it's incoming traffic, roundabouts, or toll booths. Then accelerate again when the road is open. Additionally, the S-Class has lane change assist. The driver can nudge the indicator stock when driving at highway speeds, and the vehicle will automatically change lanes in that direction when it is safe to do so. The system calculates the speed of surrounding vehicles and checks for vehicles in front, behind, and next to, and next to the S-Class. Furthermore, the luxury sedan has active speed limit assist, as well as traffic sign assist. Together, these features enable the vehicle to automatically detect speed limit signs and adjust the maximum speed setting. Together, these features enable the vehicle to automatically detect speed limit signs and adjust the maximum speed setting. On country roads without signs or map data, this system can also recognize roadwork signs and recommend a maximum speed. Other impressive driver assistance features included in the S-Class include active parking assist, remote park assist from your smartphone, as well as emergency braking and evasive steering. Alphabet's self-driving venture Waymo has spent about $3.5 billion testing self-driving Chrysler Pacificas in Silicon Valley and Phoenix. The company has a self-driving ride-hailing service. There is no one behind the wheel, but the van is monitored remotely. And there is a chase car in case the van gets confused and someone has to leave the chase car and get into the van to take over. Waymo does about 1,500 rides a month in Arizona and charges about the same as an Uber. The company isn't exactly making a killing. Autonomous research is currently like going to a college with a master's program and getting a minimum wage job to pay off your debt during your first decade out of school. Waymo is not the only company developing wireless vehicles without human intervention. As mentioned before, Tesla recently updated its summon feature, which allows the electric vehicle to slowly maneuver in a parking lot without anyone inside. NHTSA has become aware of that technology and the agency is in constant contact with Tesla to determine if it's actually safe. These companies have deep pockets and they're gonna need them. We might someday be able to ride to work in an autonomous vehicle without having to deal with traffic. That's almost worth the price tag of nearly 24,000 Lamborghinis. Almost. A few centuries ago, the idea of cars with self-driving features was only a myth. Nowadays, fully autonomous vehicles are readily available for use thanks to this billion dollar road that has led to ultimate innovation. I'm just curious, what's next?